race, the mayor of the state of Indiana, Mitch Daniels, along with his daughter, Meredith, her husband, Drew, plus their son-in-law, Joel. Here we go. The green flag, will it fly? It will. The early leader is going to be Ryan Briscoe. James Hinchcliffe across the yard of bricks. Marco Andretti is third. Already in turn number one. All the cars looks like safely through, Jake Query. Elio Castro Nevis is trying to work his way around, but Ryan Briscoe right now, three car lengths ahead of Hitch as he moves into turn number two. We watch the field safely through turn number two. Ryan Briscoe, the leader, into turn number three. Briscoe with a bit of a jump. They're fanning out three and four wide about mid-pack back. Elio Castro Nevis wants another spot. Ryan Hunter Ray is his intended target as they scream out of turn number three. And now it's James Hinchcliffe in that bright green GoDaddy car right on the tail of Ryan Briscoe. About a three car length advantage down the main straightaway. Here comes James. Only put it on the ending car series schedule. Now his driver's going to go into victory lane. For the final stint, it was all Ryan Hunter Ray. So Ryan Hunter Ray will come across the line. He will be a two time winner at the Milwaukee Mile as he takes the victory. Simon Pagino going down Seaside Way, going through turn number nine. Will Power up on the wheel. He's about two car lengths ahead of Simon Pagino. Here they come off the hairpin for the final time. He is so close, he can smell the methanol fumes off of that car. He's not going to be able to get him. What a run in the end for Simon Pagino, but Will Power was about to pull into victory lane for the third time on the beautiful streets of St. Petersburg, Florida. Elio Castro Nevis will not put a wheel wrong here today off of 13. 14. He is on the front straight for the final time. Elio Castro Neves will raise the fist for the 26th time of his career. He'll dance into victory lane. He's the winner on the streets of St. Petersburg. Second play. For the second straight week, it is Honda Power, but this time it's Scott Dixon as he will raise the fist and take the twin checkers for the first time on the streets of Belle Isle. Scott Dixon has won the Chevrolet Detroit Belle Isle Grand Prix in Grand Fashion. Dario Franchitti watches Sato spin and hit the wall behind him on the final lap of the race. He and his teammate will cross the yard of bricks side by side. The fist pumping. Dario Franchitti becomes a three. Out in front, Justin Wilson maybe needed a miracle. He got it on lap 226. The magic is back for Dale Coyne Racing and Justin Wilson as Wilson wins the Firestone 550 at Texas Motor. Just about ready to go off of corner number 13. They hold down the pace just a little bit. Everybody on the straightaway. The green comes out of the Edmonton Indy is underway. And watch Tagliani. Briscoe did not. Briscoe said in the interview he was going to go after Franchini, but it's Tagliani on the inside. Oh, oh give him a nudge. They give him a nudge. I didn't know whether Briscoe was going to make it, but he did. Alex Tagliani said, I'm going to be a bit more conservative. Well, that, <laughs> that didn't play to form. <laughs> 
Rankini will have the advantage coming out of court number 13 as they come down to complete lap number one. We'll see if Tags makes a move going into one. He moves to the inside. Tagliani's on the push to pass, so let's see if the push to pass is effective. The crowd's going crazy. The Canadian crowd loves it. A Canadian from Toronto gets the lead. And up for the 98 bunch. Clean off pit road, and we'll see where he cycles with Elio. And it's got to be close, but Elio, I believe, is going to have the advantage. Yes. Oh, that's what those sticker reds do for you. Nice job, Captain. just used his timer up and so elio will come off of turn number 13 three times a bridesmaid but never a bride until today but elio castronevis wins the edmonton indy he thought he had won in two Let's hope the weather holds. Let's hope we have a very safe and competitive race as the field now begins to move toward the starting line. And the green flag is out, and the Mid Ohio 200 is underway. Power with a big jump. of oil dry down ahead of Sebastian Bourdais there he is on the left this is J.R. Hildebrand's on board and Justin Wilson goes by on the outside wow and right ahead that's Rubens Barrichello and oh he gets sideways and oh, so does Wilson. Justin Wilson Wilson spins able to get going however and we will have no full course caution and a big setback. <laughs> these, are, these are guys who are running Hondas they're on different teams and he knows exactly what everybody and else is doing here they are one and two, Power and Dixon make their first pit stop of the day, Kevin. Scott Dixon will get to his marks just barely a moment as Power squeaks in in front of him. Dixon will, if he beats him, will try to get around Will Power. And they're also going to see a car pitted. That's Ryan Briscoe about two stops in front. Dixon takes a wing change and he gets out just in front. But who's going to beat him to the corner? It's Will Power gets the edge coming out. Wow. Because <laughs> Dixon actually started. Now we'll see if... Ooh, oh, there wow, was some was contact there? there. Yeah, there may be some weight oh, damage. Bad. Yeah, yeah. Not good. Contact between Hinchcliffe and Frank Keaty. Leaders on pit road, Scott Dixon behind Will Power. We're both going with sticker red tires. They're holding Will Power. Oh! They get a he's going to get the lead. Goal. And I believe Scott Dixon will win this race off pit road. That might change the complete complexion of this race. Wow. Absolutely right. And Bourdais comes out in third spot. So, were they waiting on pure under green? If they cannot get it done, they will put it back on. You hear the radio conversation. They will... They will fuel him, get him back out on pit road. So they're trying to save as many points as they can today. Do this as quickly as possible, but our champion. And the crew that got him out ahead of Will Power has resulted in a victory for Scott Dixon, his fourth here at Mid-Ohio, 29th of his career, second win this season. He also won at Detroit.
and the green flag waves and the GoPro Indy Grand Prix of Sonoma is underway. Will Power shows the way up the hill. Cyborg, who's very happy with the chassis, see if he can gain some time on his teammate Will Power. He heads back out pit road, a nice little stop, and we'll see where he cycles out. Yeah, he's going to be slow here, out of turn six, down to turn number seven. Spun back at turn number 11 this lap. Let's take a look at what happened. Yeah, going to get a little help ah, there. Yes. Yeah. Got an assist from Oriol Serbia. <laughs> See, the, uh, Bourdais, Bourdais just could not turn the car, and I think it was because he went wide on the corner before, got some debris on his tires, which were cold. There was a little bit, maybe what, two, three, four second delay, but the real issue for him was the cars that he got stuck behind afterwards. So Ryan Briscoe, when he leaves, you look in the background and you have cars that have slowed behind the caution and here of course is where he didn't either he he waited for a long time this could put will power in peril because they've all climbed up behind will Briscoe has the lead looks like the Castro Nevis had some contact back there so Briscoe's strategy bring it up late but Ryan Briscoe knows the guy behind him. He's got to be careful. Oh, look at Tagliani goes to the inside. Wow. Oh, oh, and he oh, hits Hunter Ray. Oh, he man. hits Hunter Ray, and now he hits. And through corner number 11, and it's going to be a Team Penske win, but not the guy that we thought was going to win the race. Will Power finishes second to Ryan Briscoe, who wins here at the GoPro Indy Grand Prix of Sonoma. Ryan Briscoe wins the race, power second. Dario Franchitti comes home in. And there we go, the green flag is out, the entire field, not through the chicane, we're down to turn one. Wow, look at Ryan Ray. Ryan Ray making a move early, and Dixon is going to hang in there. Nope. Wow, Bourdais puts himself in position. Now Sebastian Bourdais is in position to make a move on Dixon. He had position coming off a two, but no, Dixon chops over and stays in second spot. Ryan Hunter Ray works his way by. Wow. Uh-oh, Conway gets turned around. I was getting ready to say, you can't go side-by-side side through this. Board, or Pagano must have been as well. He timed that perfectly in Hinchcliffe with a problem. Cut down right front tire. Hunter Ray needs to time this restart perfectly. Oh, he and did. He, he did. He just dusts him. He leaves him in the dust. That's what he had to do. I don't think Briscoe was ready for that green flag to be thrown. Now his biggest concern. Oh, no. Oh, he can't stop. He can't stop. He's he, not going to make it. Yes, he, he did. Oh. For no reason. Actually lost momentum on the way out. Fair Kell oh, versus oh, Conway. Just got the tires. Oh, Conway got the tires. We're going to have a caution again. Full course caution, I would think, is going to come out. Barrichello in the tires. Oh, oh my. Justin Wilson got into the back of the stop. Is. Here we go. This could be the championship right here. Ryan Hunter Ray leads to down run. on the bottom. Ooh, he gets squeezed down. Briscoe still may stick it in there. He does. Ryan and that's Hunter what Hunter Ray wants. Most of this day keeps the championship alive. It will come down to the final race of the season. Ryan Hunter Ray wins in Baltimore. Eyes on IndyCar Series gets the green flag. We're underway for 500 miles. Will Power is currently in 16th position, and Ryan Hunter Ray is in 13th. Very calm. Just
just pacing with Ryan Hurray, but they did watch the leader, and you saw... Oh, Will no! Power. Will Power's gone! Power's, Power's in the wall! Oh, Ryan unbelievable. Mackerel. That's for sure. Sure enough. Yep. Got some contact from behind. Wow. Catherine Leg. Championship drama. Jan had it right. They're picking up the pieces, but they're putting it back together for Will Power's car. Four. Wow, he hit oh, high. He yeah. was in the dirt when he went to turn in. He... But when he needed to, did he? Oh, go oh and a crash. Tony Kanaan. You may not work on the car. You cannot touch it other than plugging in an auxiliary battery. So they can't make any changes. All right. We're going to take our final break before the checkered flag comes out. Be the final restart. Green flag is out. Carpenter chasing Fran Keating to the first turn. Not so sure about that move of Martin. Are working, so it's Castro Neves. Look at him on the high side. But only one more lap to go as the white oh. flag comes out. Can Castro Neves do it in the, in the meantime? Who's going to win this thing? <laughs> Great battle up front, and here's the. Oh ball. no! Castro Neves gets sideways. Sato. Sato, Sato is in right? the wall, and the race will end under caution. And Ryan Hunter Ray is going to win the championship. So let me just sum this up for you here. I've wasted 17 minutes of your life on watching a video which makes it seem like there's going to be a different winner in the 2012 IndyCar season, but there isn't because Simon Pagano sucked, Briscoe wrecked, Power wrecked, and yeah, so can't wait for the next one. But really, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. Happy month of May.